Okay, hey, what's up guys? Um, this is going to be a new video. Um, I hope everyone did well in the first maths exam and um, there's a calculator exam on Friday. So I'm just going to go over some uh, some quick revision and um, this video is going to be about the sign rule which, uh, which will normally come up in the calculator paper. So um, let's get started. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, let, let's write down the formula first. Okay, when you want to work out a side, you use the sides at the top. Okay, so a over sine a equals b over sine b and c equals sine c. Okay, now this is the formula. Um, I think they give this one in the in the booklet, or it's either the other way around. But you still you can rearrange it simply. So you use this one when you want to find out um, a sound. Uh, uh, sorry about that. Find out a side. Okay, so that's when you want to find out a side. And then you want to find out the angle. You use the signs at the top. Okay, so sine A over A equals sine B over B equals sine C over C. And you would use this one uh, to find an angle okay so <clears throat> you just need to learn these but you, actually you don't really one of these will be provided on the formula sheet in the exam and so you just need to rearrange it so you know when you want to find an angle just remember an angle will always be sine it won't be a on its own so sine of an angle so the sine will always go to the top <clears throat> so if you you could pause the video here and just learn these write them down or something but um Let's get started. So um, I'm just gonna pause the video here and be back when we have um, a question. Okay, um, guys, we have a question up here, and this one, as you can see, is telling you to find x. So if you uh, walked into the exam on Friday and you got a question like this, say it'd be worth about three marks, so uh, a hefty amount of marks for your total, and you wanted to find x. Firstly, what I would recommend you to do is label your sides. So opposite the angle A opposite will be A, opposite the angle B will be B, and opposite the angle C will be C. And you would write these in little. As we remember from our formula, we have the small a over the sine A. Uh, these are our sides. So now we need to, um, firstly, we need to get our, our side that we need to find. So this is sine A. So our, si our A is X over here. And um, it'd be this one here. So x, because this is side A, we need the angle A, so we get sine of 84 degrees. As you can see, we just uh, filled in um, the formula that they've given us. It's as simple as that. So this is basically the A over sine A, which we filled in. And um, so now we need to find another one. Remember, we only need to use two out of the three that they give us. Because if we look here, we do not have an angle C, neither do we have a side C. So there's no point in using the, the C rule. But here we can see that we have 25 centimeters, which is side B. So if you write 25 centimeters here over the sine of 47 degrees, 47 degrees, we now have something to work with. Uh, we want to work this one out, so we need to rearrange this to give us x. So what we're going to do is we're going to have x here equals 25 over sine 47. And since um, this is divided here, it needs to move up the escalator, and that means it will become times by sine 84. Now, all you need to do is work this out in your calculator. So uh, when, I believe when you work this out into your calculator, you just need to you could just use the uh, fraction tool, put this into it, and then times it by sine to eighty-four, and you should get x equals thirty-four point zero centimeters to three significant figures. So uh, I'm just going to go over that again, so the people who don't understand. Uh, to work out the side, we use the the formula when the sides are on the top. Therefore, we just filled in A equals sine A with the side A, which was X. The angle A, which is 84, so sine of 84, equals. 
We know we couldn't use C, so that means we had to use the B rule. That means we had 25 centimeters side at B, and we had a 47 degrees at the angle B. We put that in. We also then rearranged it to get X the subject. And when we worked that out in the calculator, we got X equals 34 centimeters. So um, if you got that right, if we paused it and did that before, then well done. Uh, I'm going to move on to another question. Okay, so now we have a, a question where we need to find out the angle X. Okay, so if you can remember from the beginning of the video, when we want to find out an angle, we use the formula when the sign is at the top. So, uh, you know, just for the benefit, I'll just write the formula on the top again. So sine over A equals A. Sine over B equals uh, over B equals sine over C over C. Okay, so now we have this, which you should be provided on the paper. We know that we need to find out the X. So we're definitely, actually, what we, we need to do first is the sides would already be labeled. So we need to work out the sides. So opposite C equals C, uh, opposite B equals B, and opposite of A equals A. Now, first of all, let's just get rid of the A. We do not need the A because we neither have an angle nor do we have a side. Therefore, we know we're not going to use this. We're going to be using these two. And we know our X is part of the sine C, so we should just fill that in uh, first. So sine of the angle X, which we are trying to find out, over the length or the side of C equals 7 centimeters, as you can see, seeing this is 7, equals, uh, this is now the sine of B we're done because we've just done this, so the sine of B is 40 degrees, so sine 40 degrees over the side of B, which is 6 centimeters, and once again, we've just um, put everything into our formula and we can work with this and work out the answer as quick as possible. So like we did before, we need to make x the subject. So let's make sine x equals sine 40 divided by 6 times by 7. And when you do that, you should get, uh, you should get uh, you should get sine x equals 0 0.7499 in your calculator. So, you know, you can put this in your calculator, you should get 0 0.7499. And it will be a really long number, and that obviously can't be the angle. So what we need to do is we need to, re we need to get rid of the sine here, to just get the x. So we do the inverse of sine, which is shift and sine on your calculators. So therefore, when we do the inverse of sine, x equals sine to the minus 1 of 0 0.7499 you will then get a more uh, appropriate answer and you should get 48.6 degrees to three significant figures and that would be your um, angle over here 48.6 and then you could just get a, another two mark extension question to f ask you to find out this angle of maybe Z. And obviously then once you've worked this one out in a, a, in a triangle is 180 degrees. So you just add these two up and you take it away for 180 to get this angle. And that's really how simple the sign rule is. You just need to learn this, fill it in, and um, that should really be it. Um, I hope you learned from this video. Thank you and good luck with your